Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, and today we are totally checking out the brand new Hasbro Ghostbusters Afterlife Proton Blaster Mod, aka the new Trona One. Again, straight from the, well, I would say based on, we'll see how the movie goes, but based on the Ghostbusters Afterlife movie that was slated for 2020, will be coming out the end of this year, 2021. Very much hearkening back to everything Kenner. It's got that really cool Ghostbusters blue with a couple different attachments. You can make a couple different things out of this. It's kind of like their Star Wars lightsaber mods, you know what I mean? But on the back side, you get some nice artwork, interesting artwork. I wouldn't say the packaging is the best. It's kind of wonky here and there. It's not very Ghostbusters-ish until you look at it up close. You get to see Stay Puffed and Slimer, but... The immediate sense, it doesn't really catch your eye as Ghostbusters, but it does boast 10 plus modes, combos that you can make out of this. So we'll test a couple out, but right off the bat, I can tell you, yeah, we'll see what happens here. Here's the barcode. Now I did find this at my local Target store. They're starting to reset the aisles. It'll set you back about 32 bucks. Check the end caps and just in general, check the aisles, because this one went largely unnoticed, even though I'm, like, looking for Ghostbusters stuff. It didn't exactly hit me as Ghostbusters. I wouldn't say the caution tape really screams Ghostbusters all that much. Slime and ghosts and monsters and everything else, that's, that's really where it's at. And plus, for this video, I'll pull out some ghosts and old toys and Ghostbusters stuff and really make it... Fancy, so this will be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee straight from Egon's lab. This is a look at the brand new Proton Blaster Mod, new Trona One from the new Ghostbusters Afterlife movie by Hasbro. And once you cut a couple twist ties, remove some packaging, bingo bango, you got yourself a nice looking Ghostbusters new Trona Wand with a couple attachments. But you do get a instruction booklet of sorts, basically a piece of paper shows you everything inside the box, different languages, on the back side, everything you can do with it. You will need yourself three AAA batteries and a screwdriver. Those should be easy to come by. And you get to see all the combinations. You put the pieces every which way. Now, I stuck these pieces on right away. Thought, yeah, you could remove them. No, once they're in there, pretty much in there, but you'll see them in just a second. But yeah, this is everything that you get, including this yellow and black piece right here now this kind of is like a containment unit type piece as i'll show you in a few during this video but largely they're just a single piece this black piece will spin and move this piece largely just gray will light up once you activate it and attach it to the rest of the neutrona one and this is like the neutrona blast effect the Particle beams, things that grab the ghosts, basically, you know what I mean? Wreck the hotels, all that kind of stuff. And they do attach simply just in this manner. So you can attach this to Neutrona One, have a super large blaster if you want. And they simply just detach, easy peasy. It's really basic stuff. But with the actual Neutrona Blaster, it's very much Kenner inspired to me. There are some changes, obviously, but... Largely, yeah, it kind of reminds me of the real Ghostbusters, especially with the reds. You've got the Ghostbusters sticker on there. Now, of course, the Ghostbusters are not going to put this on there. But when you have a kids type role play item, yeah, why not, right? I just think it adds to it. I think it's very, very cool. You've got sculpted, molded parts, things that twist and knobs and dials. These little switches right here will move up and down. Nothing really does anything once you kind of turn it on, which you'll see, but they're just kind of fun to push, and there's the trigger right there, right under the initial handle part of the blaster. Now, this red right here, of all the things on this, totally reminds me of the whole Ghostbusters, real Ghostbusters containment unit red, so that is a very cool touch right there. I absolutely love that. On the bottom, you have the places where you put the batteries, and you unscrew it, and you got little molded in screws and everything else so it kind of resembles a proton blaster of sorts right and then you have the yellow caution tape which is okay design wise it's it's all right but it really is when you turn it on that you get to see it come to life and it turns on just like in the movies has that really cool effect real ghostbusters sound comes out of there and you get largely all these different kind of sounds as it kind of just goes and i actually really like that like 
picks up with the tip right there. So that again, this is spin. Now when you have the other attachments, you'll see exactly what this does. But you know, I can see Kid getting into it, blasting ghosts, makes all kinds of creepy ghost noises. And then it just shuts off. So that's the one way that it shuts off, right? There's no buttons, unfortunately. But when you kind of activate it again, I'll show you. If you just leave it alone, you see, you can start hearing it. It'll light up. You'll see ghosts. You hear ghosts screaming, howling, moaning. So I like that. I like that they incorporated that kind of aspect where you can bust ghosts, essentially. I wish it did a little bit more... Especially, I guess, in terms of actually turning it off and on. If you just, again, leave it alone, it will automatically shut off. But I do like the howls and the slimer sounds and all the ghoulies sounds and stuff. So that does work for me. But I wish there was just some semblance of just shutting off, which it does all on its own, right? In terms of the design of the Proton Blaster, I mean, it works for what it is. It's very light. Kids can... Hold it, toss it around, something too heavy to actually play with. But the attachments will add a little bit of weight, if anything. They simply just peg on right there. You kind of slip it around and it clicks in. And you can turn it on once again and then start turning this. Now you'll see right here, it starts to glow. Let's shut the lights off just so you can see it a little bit better. But yeah, it starts to do like this ectoplasm kind of glow right there, which I absolutely love. And then you twist the handle and you see Slimer pop up. And that is awesome. I'm glad that they incorporated it. Does it make any sense in terms of the Neutrona Blaster and Catching Ghost? No, not really, but it'll flash. And it's something that is fun. It's something different and really for the kids. It's the play value right there. It doesn't have to be 100% authentic. That was also part of the fun of the Kenner stuff back in the day. It wasn't totally based on the show, but you can clip in this part as well and have a super long Neutrona wand, which... Yeah, it, I mean, it's fine, it works, but it really doesn't do anything. So I would say, if anything, detach these and have one or the other. I think that that's really what fits. To really incorporate something from Ghostbusters and have it work, this Proton Blaster part actually is something that's cool. I just really wish it was longer or maybe even another attachment just to kind of have it. Maybe like a foam, a foam. But yeah, you know, pressing all these buttons, turning this, twisting this. It's fun, and this lights up as well, and this has a very, I don't know why, it's a very 80s sort of sound and look to it, so that's cool, it incorporates other sounds depending on what attachment is plugged in, so I definitely dig that. So it adds a lot of play value for the kids, and I love the way that this lights up. If anything, the fact that this does that, it's like the old blaster with the cartridges and the ghosts and everything else. That's something I really would have liked to have seen. But in terms of seeing other types of old Ghostbuster equipment that I have, yeah, it's largely within the same sort of styling. You have the old ghost trap right here. You see the blues, the teal greens, the elements of red, right? Fortunately, mine doesn't have the pedal anymore, but you get the idea. And then this would open and you can catch the ghosts and... Yeah, this was a blast. It had wheels on it back in the day. All the stickers are nice and fresh on this thing. It is great. But the blues and the reds, much like this with the yellows, make it fit. And I definitely love that aspect to it. Even the Ghost Popper. Now, this is the original one, not the new one that just re-released with the all blue sort of deal. That, yeah, would fit a lot better. I kept mine in the box because I'm a nerd. But this one, yeah, is the original one with all the Ghostbuster popper pellets and everything else. So you can see, yeah, it all fits in. Same thing with the recent, let's say, Halloween, October releases last year <laughs> of the PKE meter. Now, this one's from the movie, obviously, but I think all of this stuff really does fit in. So for your collection, for your kids, for yourself, yeah, I think it'll definitely work. The one thing I will say, though, is that if you were to show this to me right off the bat, I didn't know anything about Ghostbusters wouldn't know what this thing is and I would say largely you're trying to bring a new audience to Ghostbusters and you're really kind of ignoring the ghost aspect the kind of power that you give to a kid to be like I'm not afraid of the dark right that's what I used to think I look at my my proton pack and my trap nothing's gonna mess with me I can defeat the ghosts not be scared of all this kind of stuff and that's really where the power comes in as a kid if it would have projected something on the wall just that really cool light on the tip of the proton blaster if that would have projected something or you had cartridges 
something like that i do appreciate the ghost noises i think that that is really cool maybe even a ghost to go with this some kind of exclusive something you'd have and maybe shining the light on it it's light activated maybe it moves and you do the whole thing where you trap the ghost that would have been very very cool for what it is for the noises for the sounds it makes i really like it and i think the play feature is there for the attachments and everything else so i do like it However, for me, and putting it on my shelf, I'll keep it just as it is, minus the other attachments. But you can kind of see, the other attachments, they're cool, don't get me wrong, but they don't really add to it outside of putting on the tip or swapping them out, right? When you start doing what the box says with these 10 different modes and looks and everything else like that, that doesn't work. I feel like that's like a total cop out or that's just something they threw in like, oh yeah, you could totally do it. It's wackadoo, whatever, it's fun, it's wacky. Doesn't look like anything. And kids do like to see stuff that's straight from movies. And they're gonna look at this and go, I don't know what this is. It looks like a jumbled mess, to be quite honest with you. So in that sense, I'm glad that you can just keep it the normal Neutrona one, Proton Blaster, right? These are optional pieces. In the selling points of this, make it more about the ghosts confronting your fears and busting ghosts. Other than like, look, you can do like lightsaber combinations kind of thing. It does not work. The packaging does not work. It doesn't sell me on the idea of Ghostbusters. There's so much more you could do. Slime, monsters, ghosts, scary stuff. Kids do like that. Collectors, people like me like that otherwise it goes largely unnoticed and then you have to do more explaining than anything so it kind of loses the fun in that sense again i think it's very cool in the sense of what it does lights up has that very nostalgic kenner feel so in that sense i recommend it and i think it'd be fun for kids have them play with it take it to the movies i'm gonna set my kiddo up i'm gonna get the whole enchilada i'm gonna get everything and we're going to go see that movie, depending if it's good or bad or whatever it turns out to be, it's going to be a nice, nice memory. And then if it doesn't work out, we'll go home and watch the first two Ghostbusters and the real Ghostbusters. Doesn't matter. There will always be cool Ghostbusters stuff, even extreme Ghostbusters. I did like that. But I am curious to know what you guys think about this new Chona Blaster. Will you be grabbing it? Have you already? And what do you think about it? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Ghostbusters. What did you think about the new trailer? Huh? <laughs> Perfect timing, right? So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember when it comes to Ghostbusters, have some fun, set some traps, turn on that PKE meter, and bust some ghosts. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.